The life of the woman I'm gonna talk about today is so incredible that it became an opera. Born in 1927 in Suzu, China, Xin Fengxia, as a little girl, is sold to human smugglers. Okay, that's not a nice start in life, but Fengxia will go through worse hardships and her owners teach her how to perform, dance and sing. It could have been much worse. In the 30s, show business in China is held by the mafia and actors belong to gangsters. Xin Fengxia becomes an opera singer and moves to Pekin in 1949. The young woman quickly becomes a famous actress thanks to her part in Little Harry's Marriage and Li Kiawer. In 1951, Lao Che, a writer who is also a big fan of Xin, introduces her to one of his friends, the playwright Ru Zhu Wang, and it's love at first sight. Xin and Wu get married a few months after they met, even if they have social and cultural differences. The young man teaches her wife how to read and write, and Feng Xia also studies painting with Qi Baishi. Everything goes well until the year 1957, when the Chinese political situation becomes complicated. Wu Zhuguang is accused of being an opponent of the Mao Zedong regime, and he is sent to a camp in the north of China to be reformed through labor. Feng Xia is pressured to divorce, but she stays faithful to her husband. The young woman is beaten and becomes handicapped, and she is sentenced to seven years of hard labor. I told you that the worst was yet to come. Feng Xia comes back to Pekin in 1960 and tries to go back on stage and to break through in the movie industry. She stars in the adaptation of Li Qiwer in 1956. In 1964, she plays for the last time in an opera, Flowers as Matchmakers. In 1966, the Cultural Revolution is a new dark period for Xin and Wu, and in 1975, Feng Xia has a stroke and becomes paralyzed. Amid these tragedies, she reaches the top of a specific style of Chinese opera based on music, songs and folk dances. Because Xin Feng Xia is a queen of Pingzhu. Created in the years 19 and 10 in the north of China, the Pingzhu opera quickly becomes very popular because of its romantic plots. The true love of Xin and Wu will be turned into an opera in 2014. After she retires from stage, Feng Xia trains Pingzhu artists, she paints, especially flowers and plants, and she writes. In 1979, Xin and Wu are rehabilitated at last. In 1997, Feng Xia, using an incredible memory, writes her biography, which is published in four volumes. One of Xin Feng Xia's paintings shows a sentence inscribed by her husband. Pure as jade inside, white as snow outside. A metaphor of Xin's complicated life, dedicated to her passions, despite adversity.